Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Wednesday, April 10th, and I'm going to be analyzing the US dollar Canadian starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the US dollar CAD, I still think this most looks like a big old wave A. I think this is one, two, three waves up, most likely a wave B. Could be a one and a two, but I think it's more likely an A and a B, and I think this is more likely going to go down and make a downtrend for a wave C. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, I think this first push down is very clearly a wave one. I think this move up right here is very clearly a wave two. We're sitting right at the 61% Fib level, and we have some really important dollar news and Canadian news coming out today. I think it would possibly be a good time to start a downtrend for a big wave three. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, I think this five waves down over here is a wave one. I think this is very clearly a wave two. Took out the higher wave four finally, just like a wave two should. Went right to the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, just like a wave two should. We have Canadian news today, interest rate, and we have inflation data for the US dollar. To me, it seems like a really good time for this to start a big move to the downside for a wave three. So taking it down to the four hour time frame. Four hour time frame, this whole move down definitely looks very corrective to me, but I think there is like, um, I do think that today's news probably is gonna cause it to go up initially or maybe prior to the news, but I think the trend is down and I think the trend will continue down. It might just be a trap for the buyers in my opinion. So going down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I mean, to me, this is definitely looks like an overlapping five way pattern, which makes me think it's a leading diagonal wave one. I think this first puts up right here is a wave A. I think this push down is a wave B. I think that either prior to the news or at the news, this is going to push up, probably take out this high, make a wave C, and then I think it's going to end up continuing back down. This is going to be like a 1, this is going to be a 2, and then it's going to go down for a wave 3. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the bottom left down here. And don't forget to check out my membership program that gives you access to the daily live trading sessions and my swing trade setups at my website, fxpipcollector.com. As always, thank you and happy trading.